Painting with coffee? Why not? In today's video I'm going to show you how to be creative no matter what skills you have, no matter how many and what kind of art supplies you own, no matter how much time you have in your hands. I promise you can be creative, you can art journal in your own way however you love and wish to do and truly feel the power of creative healing. Art journaling is the way to go. Before we can do a little bit of arting, let me take you to my studio and tell you a little bit of story behind of what have been happening in the past week. I have to be honest, it's been a little bit of a roller coaster of emotions, a little bit of a stress, so many of happy feelings, all because of the recent video. Wow, I wasn't expecting this to be so popular, so loved by so many of you. Over 25,000 views within a week, and nearly thousand comments. You can only imagine how much that is. I can tell you from YouTuber perspective, it's a huge number. For me, it's a massive. So here I wish to say thank you, thank you, thank you to Broccoli team, to Spillwater team. And if you're not too sure what I'm talking about, just jump in to the previous video. You're not going to regret it. After that, when I could see that everyone loved the video, I was thinking what I'm going to do next. Like everyone loved it so much the expectations are as high as the sky what i supposed to record next what i'm gonna show them to be at least as good as inspirational as special as the last time and i have to say honestly it's been a little bit stressful i felt a little bit anxiety cold feet and all and i was thinking what are we supposed to do then i thought art journaling art journaling therapy would be the best genius isn't it but I'm not too sure if you are as I am. I cannot relax. I cannot just do lovely things for myself when I know that there is a to-do list following up with the, another to-do list and then some tasks to be done, some chores to be done, things that are waiting for weeks. I cannot simply relax and just enjoy life, enjoy art, enjoy things if I know that so many other stuff is waiting for me to be done and to be honest no one else can do it beside me plenty lucas is taken on his shoulders but plenty he is not able to so i thought do you know what marta do what you can do as much as you can orders are waiting this is a priority uh, pack the product as you can tell this is what i'm doing right now pack the orders ship them and you can relax record the process of our journaling and do it together with all of you my friends so that's the plan you will see me doing a few more things before we can actually start being creative i wish you to see how much work is going behind the scenes if you're running a small business business from home it is not for everyone running an online store uh, producing your own things being a manufacturer it it's not for everyone. For me, for my husband, for our family, this is the actual best scenario ever, working from home and raising kids. But I have to be honest, we have only 24 hours in a day and I wish my day to be 36 at least. Please, if it's possible, I'm asking for this to happen. I really do need far more time than I have because I wish to do so much more stuff by myself. As you can tell, even uh, packing the products, uh, no one does it for us. Products are coming from manufacturer, like here, the stamps, and we have to pack it in the lovely packaging. Before that, you need to produce the actual packaging the slip cart as well yourself there's so much happening behind the scenes when you run a small business also keeping the stock as you can tell right now this is in my studio right next to my desk and that's because it is so much easier for me to pack it in my studio because i can do it over a few days Keeping the stock in the house can be challenging, but trust me, keeping the stock in the actual studio can be even more challenging, annoying, because I'm sharing my space between my private, personal art supplies and stock from the shop. So I have to be honest, it's a little bit difficult. I'm running out of space. Uh, space is limited in this room. I'm doing my best. It has been working very well for the past two years. I do just have to make some changes in the studio make some more room 
probably get rid of some stuff. There is certainly art supplies that I no longer use. I'm probably not gonna be using them. So it's time to give it away, sell it, put uh, on auctions, whichever that's gonna be, but certainly make space for new uh, refreshed start that's what i'm hoping so packing more supplies packing more supplies so whenever the stock is updated ready whenever uh, the orders are going to be packed i will be able to actually uh, freely create and craft and do a little bit of stress-free art journaling i miss it so much i needed it badly but as I have said to you, I just could not, I simply could not relax knowing that so much is uh, to be done and also knowing that so many of you beautiful friends are waiting for your orders. Um, I'm so delighted that I can tell you that all the orders are shipped, packed and they off they went. And it is a lot of time in general because getting the products ready, uh, pack it, then uh, label it and all, it is time consuming and you will see in a minute a little Hannah jumping in in the action as well helping out um, you can see that I'm on my desk the same desk as I have been creating my videos the same desk that I'm sitting right now recording this voice over I love the process of packing I wish to be able to do more of that the only problem is that I don't have enough time to actually um, be able to have you know everything updated just top notch and then have time for videos have time for comments and all I do feel a little bit that I'm gonna have to make some changes one of them is already happening we have decided to ship only once a month for the very first week of every month this will allow us time in between to actually pack organize pack the products because we do pack it as a manufacturer <laughs> we do pack it as the designer of the products we have to pack it in the packaging um yes have space in the house and all of that i love the whole process i wish to be able to do it all by myself but uh, it's just difficult i have to say um but it's also very much rewarding if any of you is ever hoping and wishing for having your online store home business have it twice think because it is very difficult challenging rewarding and amazing but i would say it is not for everyone it's a 50 50 job i think in terms of you sometimes love it and you really dislike it at at moments and we have my beautiful hannah my little gorgeous girl of course she's around constantly she's gonna be uh, in the studio a lot now and eventually i gave up and i just ask her to help me out with the packing orders she's everywhere she's interested in everything of course she is i hope you will uh, like this chatty video as well i really hope you will be able to relax and being able to create something special with me afterwards We got Minnie Mouse thing there. Mm -hmm. The Minnie Mouse thing. Yeah, would you like this? No. <laughs> Can you help me? Yeah. You want to pack the orders with Mama? Yeah. Now, our next order is this one and we need I'll tell you what we need no. we're gonna put them things inside here in the envelope okay okay you sit here I will bring you closer and I will bring you up high a little bit up high so that looks now you're gonna try to help me out? Yeah. Now you need to put this one likewise and the things. You can see it's not. Oops. 
Can you put these flowers inside? Yeah. And here? Oh. And here? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And add color. And we need this together. With this. Right? Right, right, right. This, this, together. Together. Mm -hmm. yeah, there you go. I'll be back to you in a minute. already did it. Great idea. Now I need this tissue set. Is that a tissue set? It's a tissue paper set, yes. They finished, so I have to pack a new one. Because they're all gone. And we need to put this one inside the envelope as well. This one? Like to help me? Yeah, I would like to. And this one is going to Mary, Mary in USA. <laughs> Who's Mary in USA? I don't know that lady, Mary. But this is her order, packed by you. Six nine four two two four. Mary from New York City. States Villa. No. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so this one is gonna go and we need to and put the order. Well done, Hello for pushing in her. I think you may be sitting a little bit too high, aren't you? No. You good? Are you comfortable? Yeah. Oh, that's good if you're comfortable. Yeah. I'm higher a little bit. Because I was on my lap. This one is... This one is... Which one? This text is back here. It's here. Thanks. Now we need small envelopes, Anna. Lucas, actually the envelopes are finished. The small ones. We need this envelope, Anna. Okay. Please. And we need to put this one inside, please. Ah, Oops, that's brush. okay. And this one. Did you get my brush? I'm sorry. There you go, that's for the envelope. There you go. Anna, but if you need to brush your hair, you need to brush it away from the table. Why? Because we don't want any hair to be around the table. Right, Anna. Okay? But I need to be here. Okay, well then, finish the brush. The brushing. Which I, I but I'll find it all the packing. I can, I can brush my hair. Yeah, when it's finished. That's a great idea. <laughs> Oh, Biscala. I got the Biscala. Hmm? Now, are you helping? So this envelope? Anna, this envelope? Yeah. Uh, this. And the little flowers as well. Everything together. Everything together. Yeah. And this one as well. These are lovely things. Now, try to put everything in here and everything inside it. Inside that. Yeah, are you gonna try to do it? Yeah. This one is going to Canada. Canada? 
Canada. It's for Anna. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. I help you out, will I? Canada. Yep. It's to Anna. To from Anna. Canada. It's actually. Thank uh, you. I'll do it. I'll do this. I help you. Look. This is what we do. We take it off the paper. Oh. Oh. Take it off. Yeah. Here we go. And then we need to close it. Yeah, like that. Perfect. And this one goes to Anna in Canada. Six nine. Two nine. Yeah. And Rubel. And Rubel. As it goes. Thank you. Who's next? Who's next, Hannah? Next is this one, maybe. Uh, no, scrapyard A5. Okay, we need it. Lucas, I have the last envelope actually. The last small envelope. If you don't mind me bringing these. No, these are going inside, Hannah. Okay. These two. Okay. Who's that? Is this so very much funny? Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. That's Happy you. Be. That's right. Now. I would like to do it. We do it like here. There you go. Put it in. Squish it in. Squish it in. You already have enough. No. This one. Gently. No. You know what? Maybe. Wait, 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 wait. We're not finished because we need to put these things and we need the flowers. But I need to cut them smaller. Put them inside. Maybe one more. So someone will be super happy of getting the flowers, right? In here, maybe. So, thank you. No. Put them in. Mm -hmm. Wow, well done, Hannah. Mm -hmm. So we turn around, taking the paper. Oh. Yes, like that. Well done. Wow, well done. Now we need to close this. Wow, Hannah, this is unreal. Now, this is 693. Two. Would you like to press that green button in, yeah. in here? Wait, the green one. Super. And green again. Oops. Yeah, fulfill items. Woohoo! Done. Super. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Anna. Next one. Would you like to do another one? No. How about this one? We have A4 set of flowers and A5. So A4. A4 flowers and A4 flowers and A5. I think. Yeah. A5 and A4. So we don't need this one. Thank you. Um, and we need only the big one now. Which envelope we're gonna need? Like, 
This one or this one? Which one? To pack this. Which envelope? This or this? This one. How do you know? Because it's bigger. Well done. Well done, Hannah. We also need, yes, we also need this special envelope. Why? Uh, to support our order. So we need to, I need to cut, cut this a bit. Otherwise it's not gonna be inside safe enough. Wait, wait, wait. Put this firstly in this envelope. There we go. Sound and safe. This one too. And the big flowers. Would you like to put them inside? Yeah, I would like to. One, two, and three. Go on. Put them inside this envelope. These things. Yeah, put them in, please. Please and thank you. Yes. Please and thank you. What about the other ones? Would you like to put them as well? Yeah. Okay. So. I'm putting them in. Okay, you're putting them in. No problem. And there we go. There we so, go. Wow, Hannah, that's a good one. And now to this big envelope. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I think we need to have this little foil a little bit like this, so it can all fit nicely. Yeah. And this one goes to United States too. Christine to Minoa. Oh, you can do it. Okay. New York. Minoa. New York. Noah? <laughs> Minoa. <laughs> Thank Minoa? you. Wait, wait, wait. No, you can do it. Wow, super. Great job, Hannah. Now yeah. we need to write it down that it's 6935. Done. Super. I'll brush my hair a little bit. Do you want to press the green button? Yeah. Yeah, press the green one. And press again, the green one. No. Okay, now we're going to take a break, Hannah. Mommy need a sip of coffee. You can brush your hair. And you can come back later. Okay? Let's have a little break. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Thanks, Hannah. Saw you walking by today with the sunset in your eyes. I couldn't find the strength to say what was running through my mind. Couldn't help but notice me staring with that awkward smile. Love you. <laughs> Bye everyone. Bye everyone. <laughs> I'll make them a bed first. Are oh, you gonna make them bed? God. <laughs> I fixed it, look. I blew it down. <laughs> and did you put some tape? I did. Glue it down with um your with your hand glue down and and you put a tape. Yeah, I did. Oh. Mm hmm. Just for you. <laughs> Good night. Everyone is asleep. Well done, Hannah. And the dogs are sleeping, and stay away from me to wake up and and we can play together here in the morning. In the morning. Before school. <laughs> yeah. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Oh, <laughs> thank you. When I asked you, told me, Pa, forevermore. All I can offer is my best through the good and bad, through rich and poor. Bye. Oh, you look bye. beautiful. Bye. With that white dress on, with that white dress on, you look more beautiful than anyone I've known. Mm -hmm. huh? than anyone I've known. Finally, at last we can be creative together. 
let's relax and let's uh, journal just as if there's no one around us. I would love you to follow my steps, what I'm doing. Create your space lovable. Create it the way as you would enjoy it. How about a little bit of a candle smell, scent, favorite coffee or tea, maybe a snack? Grab some tools that will allow you to create an amazing palette that will be just special for you. That's the plan for today's project, to start with the color before the actual page. Normally I would do exactly opposite. I would jump in with the project, start with my background, build the layers and then think about the colors. For today's project I'm thinking let's do it differently. Let's make a palette that will reflect our mood, that will be loved by us. Let's try and test out different art supplies. How about finding colors that will just make you happy, make you smile and make you maybe relax as well? I think the atmosphere, the room that we are in, the actual things around us makes either us relaxed or anxiety. It makes us happy or maybe a little bit overwhelmed. Think about it for the next project maybe next time you will be creating I'm learning this myself that actually <laughs> a little bit of ASMR uh, I left that purposely I love the noises of process and I found that very much relaxing the noises of the actual tape the noises of the actual um, gluing down painting and all I just simply love that I don't know maybe not your cup of tea but for me this is a very much relaxing process Um, I wish you to know that today's project yet again it's not about the final look it's not about the products you are using actually you're not gonna believe it this project does not consist transparent just so <laughs> another beautiful voice beautiful tone beautiful noise i love that the sound of paper and um, this project does not have the actual transparent gesso unbelievable so much not like marta the way i collage the way i art journal i always use it prime my pages today it's different and this is actually the part where i just simply love the fact i do not kind of speak to you when i'm while i'm crafting it's the the idea that I can actually create really with my own thoughts and this is where the thoughts came in if you're watching at this point please leave me a comment coffee not the broccoli this time a coffee spill I mean seriously I wanted a sip of coffee <laughs> and I looked in and I was like what a beautiful color isn't it and I felt that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use it yeah for my project I don't know if you can hear the little Hannah walk into the room <laughs> while I'm recording the voiceover. Oh no, she left. I think she left. Or oh no, she's not. The little Totos are coming. Hannah, are you here? <laughs> hi. Hi. How are ya? Would you like to say hi to the microphone? Hi. <laughs> Everyone will be able to hear you. <laughs> What have you been doing upstairs? Where you are, jo um, are journaling, <laughs> I wanted to say, were you playing? Mm -hmm. Okay, grab that fruit, grab the the mandarin and the other thing and you can and you can go and play a little bit more. I need a few more minutes, okay? Get that plate for you. There you go. I need a few more minutes. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, where are we? I'm using the actual um, pencils. What a change a little bit. I was thinking, wouldn't that be amazing to use some pencils for a change, to use the products that I forgot that I nearly own. Some of the products are waiting in my studio for six months, a year to be used. These are fantastic graphite tant from Dervant <laughs> and more coffee, no way. <laughs> Go on. Um, if you are still watching at this mark, please, comment coffee let's break the the actual record of nearly thousand comments under the last video with today's video 
coffee painting with coffee wow and um, yeah the page is actually smelling with the coffee fantastic because I'm not using the actual transparent gesso in the process I am not priming my pages and I gladly did it I wanted to do it I really wanted to test it out how the actual um the liquids will go what will happen how the mediums will work and react to each other with each other and this is what is happening amazing results that you will witness even later on i have been playing with mediums without the actual primer so you can see that the spill is mixing it up with the actual mm, i have said the word actual like 100 times actual <laughs> oh my um so the liquids are mixing it up with the pencils and uh, you can really uh, smush it around with your fingers play it around and relax i have chosen a lovely day when no one was home and i could really be with myself creating just with myself um i wasn't talking to you that moment i wasn't hearing any noises from the house really oh my phone sorry <laughs> uh, i was just having so much fun and you know what's amazing about the process of me not chatting to you as i have been doing for the past years and years uh, don't worry those videos will be back i am just experimenting but i just wanted to truly heal my soul and i felt that if i'll be arting with the chat and with telling you my next step and this and that like here i have been literally like i always had no plan but today's video was really like do you know what i'm not explaining anything to myself to you to no one i am just really truly purely experimenting here i would love you to try that I would love you to try maybe use your non-dominant hand for a change maybe just grab the pencils tools you have never ever experienced just try it out uh, this is the dervent graphite hand the whole set i have the 12 colors i will be definitely exchanging it for the bigger set i love that page i love that background i think it's very abstract i think it's very arty and I truly believe it's super free and I love how it's turning it's like it gave me so much emotions so much joy and that's because I was doing nothing else but arting there was uh, nothing not even my own videos don't put them in the backgrounds sometimes maybe it's better to turn everything off well this is probably against <laughs> my youtube channel do not watch my videos but I'm trying to say that if you really need a relaxation pure relaxing time just get yourself on that desk get the things around you that you love and enjoy and just try to do a little bit of free art journaling don't expect results don't compare yourself to others do not think you don't have enough tools I purposely didn't choose the transparent gesso because a lot of you don't have it and I think it was sometimes maybe stopping and limiting others or you maybe from starting our journaling uh, i will be using white gesso but you can easily easily use white acrylics if you don't have white gesso with the transparent gesso it's not that easy to actually uh, put something else instead and this is my new tool that i had in my studio for over a year a glass pen and these are the inks that i'm using from the advent calendar dynamite dynamite or something like that do you remember so I thought to myself, not only in the new year, I'm going to be experimenting with the form of my videos, experimenting with the way I art, but also experiment with the products. And when I'm talking experiment, I truly mean it. Do things differently. If you feel like copying what I'm doing, that's perfectly fine. Do not ever worry about that. I think we all learn by copying, by doing what others are doing, by learning from others uh, from their mistakes from their trials but please trust me you do have to try it out and start to actually uh, be better than yourself yesterday to learn something and to beat up only your very own um, uh, whatever you st whatever is stopping you from being creative only if you craft only if you do it only if you go back regularly to your book 
I think our journaling, what I love about it is that it is actually seriously freedom in the book. Doesn't take much space. And you can really, <laughs> you really can use any mediums you only want, any sort of paper, use your scraps. If you look at that page, what do I have here? Like really limited amount of supplies, no skills needed. I'm just like going with my finger doing like smooshy smooshy here and there here and there yeah I have the eye already after so many years of doing my pages my eye can pick up where my finger should go so there is no such a thing as a technique there behind it but I'm sure there is some sort of thought in the mind it's like a natural instinct maybe some of you have mentioned this oh Marta you have this eye for composition or eye for color no you you could see yourself I have created that color palette right at your eyes I just grabbed what I thought was good and put it on the paper just start this way and it's gonna be fantastic then there we go we're gonna be making circles with the lid from gesso jar I don't know if you can hear Lucas whispering I don't think <laughs> but he's saying to Hannah it's too late for sweets it's too late for sweets. It is late anyway. <laughs> they have been upstairs because I've been uh, voice recording this one. But honestly, I have been like deleting so many of voice over parts because I felt they are silly or I'm just, I don't know, like making so many mistakes the way I speak. And I just really wish you to clearly hear me, understand it and have a joy from listening to my chats and I'm sorry for all the noises from the kitchen <laughs> but I don't think you can actually hear them this is a fantastic microphone you will see it at the end and um, my Lucas have got me this new microphone holder and I'm actually using it right now it's amazing it's actually amazing that you want kind of maybe sometimes save and not have it and use a different way cheaper way but it's actually not working and only when we got the professional the proper like a stand holder for a microphone it was like <gasps> a game changer no matter what position you sit you could just gonna drag your microphone and it's there right at you so it's amazing just if you recording voiceovers using microphone get a very good microphone holder I got the branded one this time and it's worth it big time um little circus do you know what i was thinking marta how about no butterflies this time your previous project had butterflies your hundred and million times uh projects had butterflies so let's just have anything else so i was thinking what easy is that we all can do circles I wish you to have a look what I'm doing right now. I'm using a touch of watercolors in those transparent little holders. These are the watercolors. Um, I just squeezed some from the tube and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna use them. And look how beautifully they work. These are actually Danielle Smith, first time ever using it, uh, watercolors. And yes, you can use watercolors in your art journaling process. You can see I'm swapping, switching from pencils to Stabilo Woody to uh, watercolors, a little bit of gesso. So basically what I'm trying to say is I am having so much fun. Well, I didn't touch it. I thought that you'd be happy. Maybe I did. How was school? What did you do today? You had a meal. You're gonna take off the socks and things? Okay. That's Wait. fine. Wait, I'm playing off them. No problem. <laughs> Why do you put up these? I'll put this one here. 
I couldn't okay. delete those uh, little words of her. Uh, do you know every time she appears in my videos, I do feel that it's like a memory ca capturing. It's like this little diary of events of her being in the channel um, and I, I really cherish those moments I have to say and I do like going back to those and I do like to see how things are changing how sh they grow up including Emily I know so many of you have been asking about Emily I have to tell you Emily is a teen now she's 14 she's not really the most interested in appearing in my videos as such I have asked her many times suggested to maybe craft together to open some boxes together and it's just not happening for whatever reason no, nothing serious just a, I guess a shyness of uh, of my beautiful girl Emily so I hope she will uh, happen to be in the next uh, videos at some point for sure I'm gonna try my best to make this happen I wish you to see going back to our process I wish you to see this amazing semi-transparency of the watercolors I love that like you can see, I don't dry in between the layers. I'm playing with those layers. I'm trying to enchase the color, the brightness, the darkness, uh, the edges, uh, the paper elements, the paper kind of uh, borders, lines in between, like really, truly having fun um, without thinking of what I'm doing, to be honest, without expecting any any final results, just having fun, just testing out, <laughs> seeing if the glass pen will actually <laughs> fit in in those little bottles and uh, my beautiful friends <sighs> I'm so excited to hear once more from you if you liked this uh, vlog art vlog art I should call it a vlog art because it's a little bit of chatting a little bit of vlogging a little bit of arting all in one but this is how my life is it's um, recently the way as it works best for us in general I guess me as well finding myself and um, I do feel that I have to find myself in a way and find what makes me happy the videos that makes me happy the actual way I record the actual way I speak what I say about what I just think that we should all grow and change and this is a year for change and grow where well, last year was for change that didn't change a lot uh, but this year is for grow and I hope to grow together in experimenting different arts testing out different products uh, maybe doing things that we have never tried before I would love to plan my life a little bit different maybe better I would love to look after myself in a way that I haven't done for the past years and I do you know what for some strange reason I have a feeling that a lot of crafty ladies especially are hiding behind the tables, behind the crafty products. They just kind of hidden there, forgotten about themselves, focusing on the passion that really sometimes maybe is bringing them down in a way. Am I anyhow somehow correct in that? Because that's what I feel. I think I have lost myself a little bit and I just really wish to find myself back again and wish to take you with me and I wish to help to you uh, maybe make some changes in your own life I don't know what direction I'm gonna go I have no idea what in a way I'm talking about but I have this inside feeling and I'm gonna follow that I'm gonna follow that voice in my head that sounds like really like I don't know like as if I'm fortune fortune tellering tellering telling or something anyway my friends let's go back to that amazing page as you could see I have sprayed some water that's Hannah chit-chatting as you could see I, I sprayed some water on those inks and you could see the amazing effects that the water have given to those inks the movements of the pigment um yeah I just loved the actual process I have to say will you promise me that you will try it get some book it can be old book used book brand new book a journal book mm, book from your school maybe kids book any sort of book page any page any paper you have on 
It can be anything. As you can tell, I didn't use special supplies. I just experimented with what I had in my hand and I advise you to do the same. Not focus on anything around you, just the process of having the brush in the hand and smushing smishing in the wet water, wet paint and just a little bit of here, a little bit of there and seeing what's happening. The process is very freeing. I truly enjoyed it and as you can tell probably I hope you can actually this is quite a slow process I am really really taking my time not the usual Marta if you watch my live shows live videos you would see that I'm like a really like do 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 go 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 it's happening it's like there Marta is at the go it's very difficult for me to relax as well because my actual inner character it's a rush it's I'm everywhere I'm fast if I'm doing anything it's always fast if I'm dishwasher it's a bad example dishwashing dishes because Lucas does it but if I'm doing what can I do if I fold the clothes I'm doing it fast if I clean up dust I'm doing it fast if I if I do anything I do generally everything fast so for me <laughs> the word stress-free relaxation or journaling it's nearly like oxymoron is that the good word it's like what is it really because truly I don't know how to relax I don't I kind of wish to know but I'm learning it and I hope you are enjoying that journey with me ah look at this now warm cup of tea in my hand I'm warming up my hands actually and um, I've been very slowly moving and I'm this type of person that will feel a little bit of craving for something sweet every time I have uh, some warm drink with a tea or coffee I feel like yeah let's have a cake why not so embrace that guys get yourself in the mood of relaxation whatever it is actually Yet again, if you're watching at this mark, can you spot three mugs? Seriously, Marta? Yeah, I just realized it when I was um, recording that. Yeah, three mugs, two coffees and a tea. Well, half finished coffees or finished, I'm not even sure. And a tea, so three favorite mugs of mine. Um, and now I'm going to show you a present that I got a gift from emily i love this kind of smelly things in the studio in the house in general aroma therapy i love all of these things and this one is from emily these are some sort of handmade i guess little smelly things uh, that you can burn and have the ashes uh, smelling and all i don't know how to speak that in english well i'm not even sure in polish to <laughs> be honest oh yes in incense six let's try something out uh it looks really lovely i have to say super cute super pretty i love pretty things and since last year i'm also learning to enjoy the pretty things in my studio starting from the real flowers like green real flowers to pretty things like a new lamp just you know surround yourself with pretty things as well i think it's great i think it's important i think our surrounding makes us feel somehow so i suggest you to maybe try and um, surround yourself with things that you like love and enjoy uh, if it's uh, a lovely smell that will make you relax and happy if it's uh, um, new art supplies why not if this is gonna be um, maybe art project from a favorite artist that you're gonna hang on the wall whatever that is so um we're nearly finishing my beautiful friends ah oh, it's making me a little bit sad and uh, this time i'm using the white ink that it didn't really work the same way as the other inks like it was there on the like on the pen but I couldn't really write with it it was not flowy enough it's like too thick kind of and too um too 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 chalky I love that for splashes as you know I have been using this Windsor Newton white ink for splashes for being the laziest ever to create white pigment for splashes I have been using that so I decided to just run around it clean off my <laughs> clean off my pen and just uh, have some whiteness happening there 
I wonder if you are enjoying this process process of art journaling a little bit of abstract um, this time I will be using acrylic white uh, marker this one is from Marteza they do work fantastic but you really have to shake it well I mean really shake it well and press it well to get that white pigment out I thought at first I didn't give enough of shake I didn't give enough of time of course the rushing Marta have been there and it was not as white as Pasca for example and I was like yeah this is not that great I was expecting it is actually fantastic and you can get a set, I think I got a set, maybe six of black, six of white, or eight of black, eight white, something like that, can't remember. And this white now, I think it is giving this sort of, I don't know, 3D feel kind of thing. It gives a little bit of dimension, a little bit of uh, lightness not color lightness but like a weight that it's not as heavy project that's how i find these white lines in general in general like a delicate lines doodling lines i find them that they're lifting up some sort of weight from the project shoulder does it make even sense but that's how i how i feel it and how i absolutely love it uh, yes more shake as i have said more pressure to that um i've been thinking do i really need a focal point your focal point as you can tell could be just the simple circles your project doesn't have to have any sort of structure it can be very much abstract it doesn't have to always have any sort of composition i would love you to believe in yourself that anything is possible with supplies you own with the hands in the action just do it for yourself trust the process enjoy the process oh there we go hmm. are you sad yeah look at daddy leave me alone emily left you alone is it yeah i don't know what to say right now no one is playing with you no did you make this art yesterday i made it today just now can I try it already? Nearly try, yes. And it's not wet? Mm, kind of, yeah. Kind of dry. I'm going to do art. Would you like to do art? Yeah. Okay, we can do that. I moved to the crumbs so you can see family forever. I have a few of those plates. I truly fell in love in those. Every plate has a different little drawing, has a different little uh, wording, word sentences. And if you're wondering, uh, the brand of this plate and other plates and other little mugs I have, uh, East of India. I don't know where they're shipping from. I think UK or something. So have a look if you fancy it. Um, still the same marker and I will be using for the little doodles another lifting up sort of weight from the project um, I think this abstractish kind of doodles are adding up a little charm to the project everyone can do it you can do it I promise you it's super enjoyable and very much relaxing very much
I decided to add some black as well for kind of dramatic look. I love working on contrast. So between bright and dark, between um, thick and thin, I just do like contrast, uh, colors especially, the light especially. Um, so yes, a little bit of white, a little bit of black, together with the color of all sorts fantastic perfect combination for me i love that contrast i love how the circles are standing out they're not the most amazingly like shaded circles whatsoever they are not but that's okay you know that's okay did you know that your project not being perfect it's okay and you are still eligible to call yourself a crafter an artist a creative soul even if your craft and art it's not Hmm, how can I say it that you're gonna believe me? Yeah, like the perfection is not enough. It's not needed to say. It's not about that. If you look at the real, well, yet again, real artists. If you look at the artists that you follow, maybe that you feel they are amazing. Look at their projects. Uh, I think everyone has their very own uniqueness in them. Finding their own niche. And not every project I like or not every project I would be able to mo make mostly I wouldn't actually most projects I wouldn't a lot of these projects are sometimes how can I say I would think out of proportion out of co uh, co composition out of everything that I believe but guess what I'm looking at it I admire it because everyone's art and perception perception seeing art seeing things RT way it's everyone is different and that's the beauty every project will be different even if we will try to follow someone's steps we are end up we are going to end up with something different with a different project what a beauty of art so please do not expect you to finish up with x such an amazing x an amount of projects no focus on process focus on actual relaxation process and also focus on just enjoying your own time with yourself i think that's fantastic i think such a if we have such a possibility if we are um blessed enough to be able to do so it's great i i think we are very lucky that we found art that we found art journaling that we found other people that are so same like-minded us like-minded us you know what i'm trying to say same minded as us no like-minded as us i don't know so people that are doing exactly what we are doing that they are enjoying a little bit of crafts and arts and it's amazing to be in that community and it's great that we found this wonderful um passion of ours that we can just share enjoy and like have it you know so many people are out of passion they they have no focus in life they have no um uh, what's that word to be said they have no purpose yeah we have it art is keeping us sane and that's so very much truth lastly some words <laughs> don't give the paintbrush to anyone else you are the artist of your own um What's written there? I don't know. <laughs> of your own... Let me cut that and I'm going to see. Of your own life? I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, absolutely. I love these words. These are from my store. I have been missing like a transparent, biggish words. I still miss even huger words. Huger, bigger, huger. <laughs> uh, I still miss that, but these are big enough. And if you will actually... Uh, push it with the tool the transparency will be even better on that page so yes that's one of the little tips for you um, we will be finishing here I'm not too sure what's after that project I think I'm gonna show you Lucas's hand <laughs> um, because he have been adding that microphone into the studio so I think I have a clip after that 
of him and probably finished uh, finished studio or maybe no i'm gonna be doing cleanup oh, of course some splashes marta how could you forget seriously um so tell me my friends how are you finding this video do you enjoy it do you like creativity this way i think what i love about this project now is that this video and project in general but the video type i like it because with the perspective as well i can i think speak up my mind a little bit different than when i'm recording and crafting and talking at the same time i think i can somehow breathe on that project and see it in a different way different light the next day i could not remember the date <laughs> i couldn't see the mirror effect of the stamp silly marta <laughs> Uh, this is a super cheap stamp dater that I purchased on eBay or Amazon or something like that. So here is the finished page. Always be creative, my friends. Um, yeah, I love that. I really do love that. I'm going to clean up the studio with you as well. I hope you will stay to see how I am cleaning, getting my desk ready to rock for the next project as well. <laughs> and hopefully you will be able to see oh yes the noises there we go <laughs> who is that yeah time to tidy up my desk i'm gonna take this opportunity uh, of the next few minutes to say huge thanks to so many of you that have watched the previous video but also for watching all the other videos for subscribing to my youtube channel did you know no you didn't know actually i've checked uh, yesterday over i think 70 percent of people that watch my channel are actually not subscribed to it this is pretty crazy if you think about it so if you're not subscribed yet please do so i would love you to become a subscriber so you won't miss any new videos okay Little Hannah is somehow kind of always with me, or most of the time. If not with me, th then she's definitely with Lucas. Um, she would love to be far more often with Emily, as you could hear and see. Uh, she missed her when she went upstairs to do her homework and she couldn't really understand why is that happening. Um, <laughs> cleaning desk I this is kind of my new year thing I really try my best to clean after every uh, video every project so to start with the clean empty desk and I can you know record and start whenever the actual feel for creativity comes to me I'm ready my desk is ready I advise you to do so as well in general i will be cleaning the studio yet again i've started last year never finished it completely so i think it's time to really uh, get my sleeves up and start that uh, journey with creating uh, cr cleaning my studio i really need that um i will take you on that journey of course i will partially not everywhere not all the time because you would get bored but partially i promised as you have been asking uh in the last video please do do show us the cleaning process and also i'm gonna do that of course for you um once more thank you so much for being here my friends uh, without you watching the videos commenting subscribing this channel wouldn't be the same so thank you for being such an amazing youtube family i appreciate every single one of you i miss it when i'm not i miss you when i'm not here uh, but i i think i showed you hopefully in today's video my good reasons for why things are the way as they are this is how my kind of nearly a week was you could see and obviously i didn't show you the rest of the true life of ours in terms of cooking and cleaning and this and that and here it is the handsome hands of my <laughs> my lucas <laughs> um so yes if any of you is doing the actual voiceovers or something get yourself a proper mic 
and a proper mic holder this is a life game changer so there you go you can move it up and down and the side and all i know that most of you are not even interested but you could let me know if you would like me to show you a video how i'm recording what i'm using my um, things that i use if you wish to see that video let me know and here it is the final look on the cleaned studio it's very much packed it's busy but it's cozy it's special it feels so right so i i hope you liked it i'm not too sure if you can hear that squeaky floor but someone is coming to the studio uh lucas is testing out the new uh, tripod kind of that he purchased and he loved it loves it far more than I do um, so he decided to test it out and uh, use it now record me while I record this voiceover for you so here I am Friday evening just finished uh, recording the voiceover editing the video and I thought wouldn't that be just fun to add the last clip just to say hi a clip from tonight's actually editing process uh, just to show you myself that I'm exhausted actually wow it's been two days of editing i have never done anything like that this process was just so crazy long and i don't regret it whatsoever i knew that when i will change the way i want my videos to be now and the way i want them to be edited it will take me much more time but i didn't expect i didn't expect the two days the whole yesterday and whole today but honestly it was so much fun so much joy and i take a lot of uh, actually joy and fun from the actual editing process it's like i'm making a movie and i i truly love it um so i hope you will like that journey the journey that i'm taking that it is actually making me super happy and all of a lot of work but also super happy which is probably the most important isn't it and also i do hope it will make you happy which is even uh, more important as would hannah say uh, even more more <laughs> something like that um yeah this is me it's friday evening i'm gonna quickly try to add this clip uh, and this voiceover here with my beautiful microphone i'm gonna try to edit that to the last element of the video quickly up, um, save it and hopefully upload it tonight so we're gonna have it for the weekend wow um what a joy what a ride this was um if you have done art journaling with me let me know in the comments if you have watched the whole video you know what comments to leave i will surely much appreciate every single support from you and i would love to take this opportunity while i can speak to the camera and say a huge thank you to you I am gobsmacked with the amount of love support you do give me every day but especially when the new video is out you are super amazing I mean seriously I cannot stress enough that I am the lucky one and I do feel uh, super lucky I do feel privileged and I do keep constantly repeat myself because I really wish you to know it remember it hear it mm, I truly 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 appreciate every single one of you as an individual as a the whole family youtube uh, marami youtube family so thank you so very much for being here it's a pleasure to have you here in my studio pleasure to have you in my home i hope uh, i'm bringing you smiles and joys with my little marami family here um in our uh, house uh, and the studio of course as well and i really truly hope you also enjoy the creativity side of that it's like a vlog art uh, nearly i should call them vlog art maybe maybe a new form <laughs> because it's a little bit of this a little bit of that uh, but it's something that makes my heart smile and i really hope it makes your heart um beating faster and happier so yeah i'm gonna wrap up at that and um, definitely we should finish this it's such a long video who's gonna watch it seriously like Marta, youtube algorithm says do not make long videos this and that this and that i'm doing everything <laughs> against the actual algorithm but i hope with your help with your an am amazing support of your comments input shares and just watching the videos will show them different will show that it does matter the length vi of videos youtube family loves when it's the longer the better <laughs> okay my friends have a lovely weekend have a lovely wonderful weekend i'm gonna keep you posted i'm gonna plan for the next video but this video actually 
it's been like nearly a week of recording and then two days of editing so that's a week like for one video that's wow so I, I will be definitely back to my old good way of videos because um yeah it we all will miss it at some point isn't it so watch the space for this one and also for life class soon on the channel i truly hope okay that's definitely it i need a sip of coffee or tea what do i have here tea with my gorgeous gorgeousness mug <laughs> um yes stay healthy stay safe please mind yourself and your loved ones uh, in those very crucial times i wish you lots of health which is hugely the most important um yeah till the next time i love you and i already miss you but i do have to go i'll chat to you soon i very much speak to you soon i promise bye <laughs> ouch my elbow <laughs>